Working in the pharmaceutical industry, I'm often asked why it takes so long from the discovery of a new medicinal product to it actually be made available to the general public. Well, hopefully, here I will explain the process. The first stage comes with research and development, and research and development scientists will typically spend anywhere between five and ten years working on a particular project to try and discover a new medicinal product. Now, assuming they do discover a new medicine, the next stage is clinical trials, extensive testing on this product. And clinical trials themselves will take anywhere between two and five years to take place. Now, a lot of products don't make it at this stage, but assuming a product has a successful clinical trial, then that product then has to be reviewed by the regulatory authority in a process that's called regulatory submission. Here, they will review all of the information on this product and they need to be satisfied that the product is safe and effective. This process itself could take anywhere between six months and two years to complete. If the regulator authority are happy with this new product, then it is granted what is called a marketing authorization or a product license. This is approval for the medicine itself. Now that medicine can't be made unless it is made at a commercial manufacturing facility that is also licensed. And a manufacturing facility needs to have a manufacturing authorization. This gives a facility permission to make medicines and these sites are inspected by the regulatory authority. The next stage of the process is called technology transfer, where the know-how is transferred from research and development to the commercial manufacturing facility. And this commercial manufacturing facility will inevitably have to buy new equipment or even build a new facility in order to make this new product. Now all of the equipment and the facilities that they have need to be subject to initial validation, extensive testing on the equipment and the facilities to show that they are consistently capable of performing as required. And only once this is done do we then go into routine production for the first time. And this will be many, many years after the initial discovery of the product in the first place. Now, routine production will involve extensive quality control testing of the incoming materials as well as the finished product. And once a batch of this new medicine has been made, it can only be released into the market until qualified person certification or QP release has taken place. Here, a person assigns to say that they are satisfied that this product has been made to the required standards. And then the product is then released into the marketplace where it goes to the wholesalers, um, the, the retailers and into the healthcare industry itself. And now for the first time is this product available to the general public. So as you can see, this is a very extensive process that takes many, many years from initial discovery to that product making it into the marketplace.